The asbestos issue is not a thing of the past. It, it continues to this day. We want to end this man-made disaster. So let's ban asbestos. Okay, good morning and uh, thank you to ADAO for allowing me to share my story today. Uh, my name is Lou Williams and I am from Australia and I live with mesothelioma. Uh, my story begins with my father who was diagnosed in March 1985 with pleural mesothelioma. Uh, he died six months later, age 54. His uh, known exposure was working in the building industry in 1968 to 1974. He died a very uh, slow, painful and aggressive death. Um, he basically choked to death and uh, as there was no treatment that worked at the time. Uh, my symptoms um, from 1980 to 1995, unexplained headaches, um, diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome, uh, and then 2001 to 2003, a large growth in the groin area. Uh, I had an extreme pain in the back to groin area. I had uh, numerous tests and it was inconclusive as to what my problems were. Uh, my diagnosis, 2003, I uh, was finally um, diagno diagnosed and started treatment with peritoneal mesothelioma and then 2008 diagnosed with pleural mesothelioma. My treatments, uh, I, surgical removal of tumours, uh, debulking, uh, chemotherapy, 18 sessions and December 2008, surgery including pleurodesis, fats, uh, uh, bronchi, I can't uh, pronounce it, bronchi, uh, bronchoscopy, I think it is. Bronchoscopy. Thank you. Uh, December 2009, chemotherapy, and then I remained well until last year, August 2013, when my breathing. Uh, uh, again, uh, I was finding it difficult to breathe and getting a bit of pain and my oncologist, Alan Zimmet, said, well, we'll give you some more chemotherapy. Uh, thankfully, chemotherapy worked and my breathing now is much improved and my pain is um, very minimum. Uh, the triggers for action. I guess um, being diagnosed with the same cancer as my father, I never thought I would get this cancer. Uh, searching for answers, I searched everywhere because I think it's a very powerful tool uh, for survival if you can uh, be aware of and sorry, I've forgotten what I was going to say. Aware of. As knowledge. Knowledge is very powerful so that you can survive this cancer as long as you can. Uh, joining support and advocacy groups, attending over 60 funerals, um, survival strategies and of course my family and grandkids keep me focused. My voice, um, involved with advocacy, awareness, support. Um, I have a social media voice and I attend many conferences like this and uh, I'm one of the mesothelioma global warriors. Uh, Unity, um, this is a, a nice story. About a month ago when we were in Tasmania, in Australia, I was walking on the beach and there was no one on the beach and I had recently just spoken to Linda Reinstein and I just thought I would do a heart with ban asbestos in unity on it and then send it through Facebook to her and around the world to everyone else. Uh, as I said, there was no one on the beach and all of a sudden this couple turned up and they said, can we have a look at your artwork? And I showed them this and they said, you're not going to believe this story, but we have a friend who has just been diagnosed with mesothelioma and she lives an hour away. Now, for that to happen, and, and, the, and this couple were only holidaying in Australia 
and they had come back after five years of living away. Uh, so I was able to give them my details and they gave their details to their friend and then the next night this friend rang and he was crying. He could not believe that there was support for him and by talking to me and then I put him, was able to put him in touch with uh, others, others and give him hope and support, uh, he now had hope. Um, and I will not die in vain. Um, I will continue my fight uh, to raise awareness and give support and education. Thank you. Thank you very much.